Damp. Towels. Decor. This is my second store. All food and big food. Look at this. When I tell you guys, they have stuff everywhere. Good stuff. This is just a little bit of it. Look. I'm in a rush because I need to get me another golf cart. I'm in <laughs> another cart. Hang tight. So, okay, guys. This is store number two. I am done for today. I have shopped all day at Dollar General. And I spent more than I needed to. But I have some wonderful deals. All food. And because I'm redecorating my bedroom and some areas of my house, I got some great deals. So, hang tight. When I get home, I'm going to everything up so you guys will have all. Woo! Hi, guys. Welcome back to Tink TV for deal number two. This is deal number two or shopping out at Dollar General clearance event number two. I showed you guys a previous transaction earlier today. So now I'm just getting around to the second haul. You'll see, um... There's my home items here, and then I'm going to go to another clip and I'm going to show you guys the uh, food items that I purchased. And I'll show you the receipt at the end because it's so long. Okay, so, and guys, remember, because I just posted in the Facebook group, anything in your Dollar General that is on clearance, even if it says 10% off, it is an additional 50% off. Okay, so walk around your whole store. Don't just go at the front of the store. Like in my store, they had... Well, they didn't even have a clearance table out. Some stores may or may not have a clearance table out. When the first store I went to this morning, they didn't have a clearance table out. Um, they just had one little section. Um, and then I walked around the store and the other things that I knew that had tickets on them for 10% off, I knew they were 50% off. So make sure you go around every store, every aisle, even if it has a 10% off, a 25% off or whatever, it is going to be 50, an additional 50% off. Make sure that they scan it. Um, before you purchase it to make sure the 50% is coming off. If not, they will have to override it. Okay. I hope you guys get that. And also, um, thank you guys for asking about my grandson. He is doing a lot better. You know, he's seven months. He was a preemie and he, um, has the flu, but he's doing a little better. He's more, um, alert today. So thank you guys for that. Okay, guys. Um, I purchased these pledge wipes. I know this may be a little excessive, but I purchased four selfie sticks. I've been wanting these selfie sticks for a long time. They were uh, $5. The reason why I purchased so many is because I do do a lot of pictures. Facebook, I do a lot of selfies and everything. And then also with my YouTube channel, these little clips on the end, I break these off a lot. And you can use those on your large tripods as well. So I use those for my tripod. I won't have to go out and purchase extra tripod little um, adapters. For my phone. Alright. So I purchased four of those. I purchased this. Um, candle fountain. It is like uh, LED lights. This little plant right here. The greatest find I think on this haul. I was looking for some lamps. Oh my god. I needed lamps so bad. As I told you guys. Um, I had purchased some things from Walmart months ago a new bed set i don't know if you guys saw that a few months ago um hold on guys my daughter's calling i need to make sure the baby's okay and she's okay as well hang tight <laughs> okay i'm bad my daughter was calling the wrong person <laughs> so everything is okay but anyway i think the greatest things up here that i found were the lamps because i wanted lamps and i was just at walmart trying to find some lamps but i thought they were too high so, I made sure when I went on a clearance aisle today at my Dollar General, I just happened to look up on the top shelf and I saw these was clearance. I was like, oh my God, how much are they? Anyway, the lamps, they are two pieces because you have the um, lamp shade and then you have the base. Now, um, these are, I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but I'm going to try my best to paint these. I want to paint those bases black. But the the, um, the base here, if you think over here, the base, they were $3.17. For the bases and for the shade, they were two dollars and fifty cent. My room is going to be like a turquoise. It's a little bit darker. If you guys, I rem you guys recall those? Um, hang tight. Let me go grab what my match. What I'm matching up. Hold on. Okay, so if you guys um, been watching my videos for a long time, you see that I've been doing a lot of clearances. Um, I actually started back in June. Yeah, June of last year. So I picked up this rug. <laughs> From Dollar General some months ago, and um, I wanted to match it up. I went to Walmart and I found a bed spread, black and white. 
that I want to do if you guys look at that Walmart clearance. So I want to incorporate all of these colors, black, white, and this uh, turquoise color in my bedroom. So this is what I'm trying to match right here. So I saw these, it's a little bit off, but it's still, it's still okay. I saw this and of course it's a little bit off, but I'm gonna incorporate those colors. Let me get this out of your way. Okay, the Dixie plates. There's an 86 count. I can't remember how much they were. And then I got the 154 count. I can't remember how much they were. They're on the receipt. I have some, we're going to look at that, some, a bra. And I did get some panties as well. And three towels. They are large towels too. Let me see. I don't know the brand of them. Um, they're really soft too. Here's the brand of the towels. Comfort Bay. Purchased three of those. And I absolutely thought that this was cute too. This is, Laura, look at this. It is, wait a minute, a folding step, I can't even get it so I can show y'all the picture. A folding step stool. Okay. It's right there. See that right there? It's a folding step stool. A traveling, I guess so you can travel with it. I don't know the weight capacity. I have to look it up. But I thought that was so cute. Okay. Let me show. Yeah, there's that. It is really cute. That was a uh, of course 250. Okay. So let me know what you guys think about this haul so far. Out of everything you've seen, what is your favorite item up here? I just I absolutely love this um found this counter fountain too as well. You get the lighting and the water, and it's oh that's nice. Okay, and I'm going to, when I do my room over, I'm going to show you guys a before and after. I'm going to do a video of that too, a before and after. I'm sh not sure exactly what I'm going to do, um, how I'm going to decorate it just yet. But hang tight. Let me go and get all of the other items, which is the food items, and show you guys that part too. Okay, hang tight. Okay, guys, next we're on our food deal. All of the dates have been checked. Nothing is expired. Most of the items go out uh, in 2021. And maybe later on this year, there was some expired items, but the manager threw those away. Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is the food portion of my haul that I did today. If you are, well, no, you don't know. So, I'm going to let you guys know that some mice have already been in my food. Count me as one of those mice. And my daughter is a little mice, too. <laughs> okay, guys. I was so I couponing so much today and I didn't have a chance to get anything to eat. So I did um, grab me something as soon as I got home. So I went into my little goodie bag. Okay. So I got macaroni and cheese, the craft macaroni and cheese. Like this is Paw Patrol. My grandson absolutely loves Paw Patrol. The macaroni and cheese dinners. I can't remember how much they were, but I will show you guys a receipt after all of that. So I got four four um, containers of the Paw Patrol. No, I actually got more, but my daughter got some. I'm sorry. So, four of those here. Yeah. I got the Macaroni Cheese Deluxe. Three of those here. Hawaiian Punch Singles. And also, guys, remember to check for penny items. And if your store has a lot of boxes and crates and all that kind of stuff, it may take a while, but look through those things. You may find some penny items. I did find a few today, and I'm going to bring you guys that too. I'm going to go out tomorrow and see if I can find some more penny items. I'm not doing any more coupon because mm, all I have right now is pennies. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go penny shopping. Okay. Um, I have these right here. Now, I do remember these right here were 50 cents. The Chef Bar ID, they were 50 cents. Um, my daughter got some of those. The... Um, Denny Moore chicken pot pie soups for those South the Gate chili with beans, all of those, and this right here is a banquet home style baked classic chicken and mashed potatoes and biscuits. It's a one box meal, complete meal kit. Just add water. I got three of these, and the lady that works there, she got three of them, about three of them. So, 
there you have it guys let me know what you think of this entire haul because this is all one haul so we're going to run do now is go over the receipt on all the items that i purchased okay you see how long this receipt is now um look at this receipt look at this receipt oh my arm doesn't go that far okay there you have it now um this was the second store that I had went to. The store this morning that I went to that I showed you guys the dove and everything. That store, everything was already marked. This stuff right here, they had everything sitting there. Actually setting the tape, setting everything up when I came. And the uh, supervisor, she was in the back getting all those crates from the back. So they weren't marked down yet. So they do had to do a lot of price override. But everything was marked. It said clearance bins, clearance bins. So they had to do some price overrides for those things. For um, most of these items. Okay. Hang tight. Now remember, this is both the, both um, items you saw, the home items and the food items. So, this is a high ticket. Good gracious, this thing is so long. Okay, so if you see some price of rise, okay, the lamp, you see that right there? $3.15. The lamp shade, okay baby. Um, it was five dollars, but she did a price override for two fifty. The lampshades, same thing. Override, price override, price override. Lamp, copper lamp, three dollars and fifteen cent. See those three fifteen, accent lamp three fifteen. Um, what is that right there? Oh, okay. The dangle decor. That was that little um, white box with the, the saying on it. Okay, baby. Okay. That was $2. The towels were $2.25 to $2.25. The pledge wipes. I wasn't sure about the pledge wipes because I don't buy those, but they were one eighty. The little step stool was initially $5 and she did a price override for $2.50. Mm. I don't know what that says. It says air or something. I don't know what that is. I can't remember. Um, I had purchased a pair of undies. They were $150. Um, the candle, the candle with the fountain was um, $8, but she did a price of a ride for $4. The Dixie plates, the 86 count of Dixie plates, they were $2.47. The Dixie plates, um, what was it? 150 something, they were $3.50. The macaroni and cheese was $177. $177. Four cups, $177. $177. The Hawaiian Punch was 45 cent. Mm, I just got that cheaper the other day at Walgreens for 19 cent. Uh, let me see. The Chicken Pot Pie cans. Sorry, guys. Chicken Pot Pie cans, uh, 132. The Chili was 45 cent. Chili, 45 cent. Chili, 45 cent. Oh, sorry, guys. This is a long receipt. I'm sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, let me see. Spaghetti and meatballs, uh, 45 cent. Chicken pot pie, 132. That box of one bake was 157. IP basic black, I don't know what that is. It was $2. It was four dollars initially, and then two. My subtotal was eighty-one dollars and seventy-eight cent. My total was eighty-five dollars and eighty-nine cent. It says a total of fifty-three items. Woo. Okay, so you guys, let me know what you think of this haul. Remember, that was a total of the home items that I purchased in the beginning, which were the lamps, the towels, step stool, and all the other stuff, and this. 
So let me know what you guys think of this haul. I hope you can go out there and get things. Don't think that just because it started today that everything was going to be wiped out. Because as I said, the store that I went to this first time, they didn't have hardly anything out. The second store, she had so much stuff in the bag. And I don't even know if she got around to getting to it. So I kind of stuck around, tried to go through some things and see what else I could find. I did find some penny items. I'm going to do a penny, um, see what I find in my penny items yes, tomorrow. Because I'm going to go out and I want to bring you guys that whole video instead of doing several more little videos. But there you have it, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And I hope you guys found a lot of great items at your clearance um, event. The sale started today, which is Friday the 7th. And it ends the 9th, which is Sunday. Make sure, um, I was reading in the group that I had posted in earlier, and a lady said that they told her at her store that she could not use paper coupons. She just only had to use digital coupons. I was like, oh my God. So everybody was telling her, no, you can use paper coupons because I use paper coupons too. So whoever, whoever store that she was at, whatever store she was at, told her that she could not use paper coupons. So she said that she, items that she had, the dub that she had, she ended up putting her dub back because she couldn't use paper coupons. I felt so bad for her. Um, so don't forget, check your whole entire store. Do not just look at the clearance table or if they have a clearance aisle, look over your whole store, the bath um, area, the laundry area, um, deodorant, razors, all that stuff. And wherever you see a clearance tag, even if it says 10% off, it's going to be an additional 50% off. Remember that. Okay. All right, guys, I hope I brought you guys some helpful information. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I know majority of you are such sweet people. So just remember, you never know what a person is going through. So be careful what you say and how you treat other people. Treat everybody with love. I wish we all did that. But have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.